Hi, I'm Kim with InStyle. I'm here with celebrity makeup artist Sir John, who is going to show us how to recreate the look that he did on Charlie Kloss. So what's the first step? So the first step today is gonna to be all about adding a bit of light into the face. So I wanna reflect light from your face by highlighting. So what I'm actually using right now is a cream highlighter and I'm using on the high planes of the cheekbone, I'm using my ring finger. The ring finger is really good because it doesn't pick up a lot of product. And this has a huge impact on the end result of your makeup because it's never overdone. So we're working the brow highlight, the high planes of the cheekbones, maybe a bit down the bridge of the nose. Don't go all the way down, just maybe a bit between the eyes. And what this does is it reflects light. After you're done highlighting, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to low light and give the face a sense of like architectural contour. I'm gonna take a cream bronzer and we're gonna to start to add more dimension. So it's all about low lighting and highlighting. So absorbing and reflecting light. Starting in the hollows of the cheekbones, maybe a bit in the temples. Kim, this is really great for me to use on Carly because we were really pressed for time. This is for someone who doesn't have a lot of time but they want more impactful makeup. It is super radiant, it's super brilliant to look at. Now I'm gonna go into eyes and I'm gonna do a demi smoke. What is a demi smoke? A demi smoke is a very minimal version of a smoky eye. I'm gonna start by using a sponge tip applicator that has shadow built into it. I'm using L'Oreal Smoky Seam and Brown, but you can use any brown or shimmery gunmetal shadow. And it doesn't even have to be brown. You can use an aubergine, you can use a navy, but the goal here for Demi Smoke is to keep it really contained to your lash line. The goal for this look is to take the color and do one continuous line all the way around your lash line, top and bottom. And after you're done, take your finger and smudge. It's that simple. So after you're done blending with your fingers, ladies, the pro tip is to take a little bit of concealer on your brush and clean up any edges just to make sure the lines are diffused and everything seems neat. So now we're gonna go for mascara. I want you to start at the root like you're brushing your teeth back and forth and then wiggle up. And what that's gonna do is gonna deliver a lot of product to the base of your lash, which is gonna give you a ton of volume. I love this look because it's very bold yet very approachable.